Welcome back, everybody, to episode two. Today, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin being accepted as a cryptocurrency for everyday use. So at what point does cryptocurrency be used by the masses? CoinMama makes it super simple and secure to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, supported in 188 different countries. Use easy payment methods such as credit and debit cards, Apple Pay, or a bank wire to buy Bitcoin within minutes. To get started on your Bitcoin journey with CoinMama, check out the link in the pinned comment. So yes, some stores and websites accept Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies as payment, but I really think what will bring cryptocurrencies into everyday use is a system that allows anyone to accept Bitcoin as is. And I really think what could make this happen is acceptance through PayPal. So according to PayPal, we announced that PayPal users in the US, okay, so it's a little limited, but I imagine that'll get better over time, can buy, sell, and hold select cryptocurrencies directly through PayPal. This part is not what I really care about though. It's this part. PayPal also announced that it will enable cryptocurrency as a funding source for purchases in 2021. So essentially you go on PayPal, you buy cryptocurrencies on their platform, and then I can go buy a donut using my PayPal balance if that seller accepts PayPal as a form of payment. But the thing here is that when a consumer selects cryptocurrency as the funding source, the cryptocurrency will be instantly converted to fiat currency and then and the transaction will be settled with the PayPal merchants and fiat currency. So in other words, I can buy whatever you're selling with cryptocurrency, but you ultimately get the fiat currency of your nation. So probably United States dollars since this is going to start out in the United States. So the end result is that anyone who accepts PayPal can now accept cryptocurrencies without any change to their current business structure. They still get paid exactly the same way, but the people buying the stuff can pay in a bunch of new ways with cryptocurrencies. But not just any cryptocurrency, there's a select few cryptocurrencies. So looking on this list so far, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. And I think this is important because if we just had Bitcoin on this list, I don't think this would work out. And we'll talk about why and an example of that here in a minute. But what I want to know is if I accept PayPal and I'm selling stuff, do I have the option to accept cryptocurrency without that conversion to fiat currency? If that's the case, I think that's pretty cool. What if I could just receive any of these cryptocurrencies directly without that conversion? That might simplify things a bit instead of giving people the options to send these cryptocurrencies to four different wallets, you know, we can just have a payment gateway take care of all of that for us. Now it talks about the difference between these cryptocurrencies. So for example, Litecoin designed to be a future payment method and can be mined more quickly. Oh, Claire, this is a new channel. New channel, Claire. I don't even know you. Uh, where was I? Producing one new coin every 2.5 minutes, whereas Bitcoin produces one every 10 minutes, which, <laughs> hate to say this PayPal, it's technically incorrect. Every 10 minutes, a block is added to the blockchain and Bitcoin is rewarded to a miner. However, right now it's actually 12 and a half Bitcoin every 10 minutes, not just one Bitcoin. And this is the block reward. According to the internet, a block reward refers to the number of Bitcoins you get if you successfully mine a block of the currency. Now, the thing is with Bitcoin, and this is just a topic for another day, is that the block reward gets cut in half every four years. So that's what the Bitcoin halving is. For the masses, the general existence of people, I think the cryptocurrencies being converted to fiat currency is probably the most ideal because, you know, mom and pop shops don't necessarily want to figure out how to manage cryptocurrency wallets and they're just not ready for that yet. And that's going to take time. So having the money converted to fiat currency allows their business to exist as is, but also allows everybody shopping there to use cryptocurrencies. Now I know PayPal is not something that's often used in person for in-person stores and it's often used for online purchases, but as more and more acceptance of cryptocurrency is a thing, 
the other payment gateways will start to do the same, I imagine. But I do really think online is the future. It's it's where most innovation is going to happen, and a lot of the uh, younger generation just buys online. So they're most likely to use cryptocurrency, so this is perfect. So now I want to talk about rejecting Bitcoin, and another very important company said, no, we're not going to use Bitcoin, and that is Stripe. So here we have an article ending Bitcoin support. Now, in their defense, this was January 23rd of 2018. So this is a really long time ago, and they're probably reconsidering how to do this. So uh, it's not that they don't like Bitcoin or they don't believe in Bitcoin. In fact, in this article, it talks about how they do believe the future of cryptocurrency is a thing. They're very optimistic about it, but it's just not there yet. And basically, they came to the conclusion that Bitcoin as a payment source is not really effective and it caused more issues than good. Over the past year or two, as block size limits have been reached, Bitcoin, in other words, the number of transactions is enough to fill all the blocks, Bitcoin has evolved to become better suited to being an asset than being a means of exchange. This has led to Bitcoin becoming less useful for payments, however. Transaction confirmation times have risen substantially. This, in turn, has led to an increase in the failure rate of transactions denominated in fiat currencies. By the time the transaction is confirmed, fluctuations in Bitcoin price mean that it's for the wrong amount. So basically, Bitcoin is very volatile. By the time the transaction is confirmed, the actual amount is different. Furthermore, fees have risen in a, gr a great deal. For a regular Bitcoin transaction, a fee of tens of US dollars is common, making Bitcoin transactions about as expensive as bank wires. So yeah, they basically tried to do what PayPal is doing this year, except it was Bitcoin only. And that's why I think it is important that on this list of cryptocurrencies for PayPal, it's not just Bitcoin, but also Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash, which really gives a lot more options and makes this possible. So I think if Stripe considered that, and they do talk about, you know, they're looking at Ethereum and other options down here at the bottom, but right now it's just not a thing to the extent of my knowledge. I mean, I accept Stripe for uh, some courses and I don't think people can pay me in cryptocurrencies. So I wouldn't be surprised if this year they come back and say, hey, we're going to try this again. You know, it didn't work. It wasn't time. We, we had the wrong approach, but now we're going to do it again and we're going to make it work. Now, more important than PayPal and Stripe is Amazon, right? We buy everything on Amazon. When is Amazon going to accept cryptocurrency? The answer is I have no idea, but I highly doubt Amazon is going to want to be behind a lot of the competition. So I think they will quickly follow and give this option as well. Especially with Jeff Bezos stepping down as CEO, the new CEO could potentially be more uh, crypto focused. So I guess we'll have to see. I've read some about that, but it seems like the only people who are talking about that are crypto people. It's, I don't think it's like really obvious that this guy wants to increase the crypto space. So we'll just have to see where that goes. I think when we reach a world where we can buy stuff with PayPal using cryptocurrency and Stripe using cryptocurrency, and I can buy junk on Amazon with cryptocurrency, then we've finally made it. Cryptocurrency is finally done. We've reached the end. So I want to know your opinion. What is your opinion on cryptocurrency being accepted through these payment gateways? Do you like that or do you just think we should not have that middleman and just go wallet to wallet? I just want to know your opinion. Okay. I think that is my call to uh, end this video. Hello. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.